Hey guys, we're doing a quick tutorial today on how to do configure Phoenix RC V3 with your Turnigy transmitter. Okay, so we need to open up EP and we need to set up your mixers like this. Create yourself a HeliSim model, and once you've renamed that to HeliSim, click on mixers and you want to set up your six channels just like this. So channel one, just like this. Channel 2, just like this. Channel 3, just like this. Channel 4, like this. Channel 5, like this. And channel 6, like this. You can pause this any time and have a look at it, guys. So, okay, so go to um, your settings and set up your transmitter. Okay, so what this is going to do is do a, a run through on how to set it all up. So click on next. And we need to make sure that you've got your model configured, which you have, and you're away you go. So just click on next. And we're going to be calibrating our transmitter now so that Phoenix knows which. Uh, knobs do which and which buttons and switches do which okay so click on next and all your switches should be in the default positions so all any any of your switches should be down so click next and then what we want to do is centralize your uh, controls just like this with the left and right stick in the middle and all your other switches should be facing towards the front or down if it's on the if it's on the front of the transmitter. Okay, so just click next. And what we're going to do is move the left stick in rotation all the way around from the bottom to the left, right, top, right, left, all the way around in a clockwise direction as far as it will go. And it will automatically sense those two channels. And we're going to do the same with the right stick. Same thing, so a clockwise direction from all extremities of the transmitter. Okay, and then it'll automatically sense those. And we're going to also check our switches that we've configured. Switch 1, which will be whatever you set it to, and switch 2. Um, we set our channels 5, is it 5 and 6 on the um, configuration. And you'll see what that's going to do in a minute, once we actually go into the real configuration. Okay, so just checking your switches are working. Click on next, finish, and give them a bit of a quick check before you finish. Obviously, um, you know you should see smooth, nice smooth movement. Channel three, you can see the throttle was right down, and I've just moved it up, and it's in the center. Okay, so click on next, finish. Okay, we want to my basically my click on my transmitter is not in this list. And go custom click on next and change your new profile um, I've got mine set to Turnigy ER9X and then just leave the normal the basic setup the top radio button selected don't worry but on advanced at this stage just the top one and go next center all the controls back the left stick to the middle right to the center same with the other one okay so what we want to do is the engine control so we want to start right at the top and then pull it down so start at the top and pull it down and that will determine which way the throttle operates now collective pitch same thing use the same throttle control on the left stick and go from the top all the way down to the bottom and it should go from the bottom, it should nothing on the orange and go all the way full when you go to the top. Click on next. Okay, rudder tail control. We want to go right, fully right first and then to the left. So fully right and then to the left. And that will set it up the right way around. Now we're going to do your elevator cyclic pitch control. So on the right stick, push it right to the top and then bring it down. Right to the top and then bring it down. And that should give you the forward and reverse direction of the cyclic control. Now we're going to do the aileron cyclic roll control. So you want to move it hard to the right 
then left hard to the right and then left and that will select channel 2 skip the gear retraction and skip the flaps function that we're doing heli click finish and then click finish okay that's done so now we need to click on settings your controls select your tuniga er9x and edit profile this is going to bring you up to the screen where we've got all our mixing so we make sure that the throttle on on the up and down on the left stick does operate on channel three and controls the throttle and the collective pitch and they should both move up and down together okay and this once we've done that on the same left stick if we move it left and right on the on the left stick that should control the tail rotor or the rudder okay so left and right that's on channel four okay if you have a look on channel two there where i've got cyclic pitch i've got the box ticked and that was when we did the special configuration before okay so cyclic pitch is the right stick push up and down and that's got ticked for inverse so if it was going the wrong way when you're actually flying then go back in here and untick that box to get it to work right so collective pitch when i was on the left throttle channel three up and down just double checking it and double checking that that moves with the top one on the throttle on channel three okay right so now we're going to do the cyclic roll and find out which channel that is so what we need to do is the right stick move it left to right and as you can see it moves channel one so select control of channel one and then move it left to right and as you can see that moves left to right and then move that control pitch up and down and we've got that all good all right so we'll scroll down we're going to the fixed wing section but we're actually looking for the gyro and uh, sorry the idle up and the throttle hold okay so we want to click the switch for the idle up and that was channel six and click the other switch for the throttle hold and that's channel five so we click on that and then click up and down and see channel five goes up and on and off okay so we'll select channel five so that's your throttle hold so once that's mapped right when you hit throttle hold your throttle won't work um, on on your channel three okay and idle up will give you the idle up functions all right so we're finished and click finish again and make sure you selected your tuniga er9x and your controllers all plugged in and away we go Okay, I'm just testing the controls on the cyclic and we're going to check the run the tail rotor now and make sure that when you pull it to the left it spins to the left yes it does and right to the right okay that's good and we've got the pitch on the third throttle we've got all the controls are working perfectly and it's looking pretty good now click your idle up switch and you'll see the stunt light come up on the controller and you should be able to flip it over and have pull it down and the throttle should the throttle should actually root from act in reverse and put it into negative pitch so that's working perfect if you have a look on the controls on the left you can see that when you pull down it um, actually gives you more 100 percent throttle the closer you pull it to zero and it gives you maximum neg negative pitch the closer you put it to zero so that's all working great just run that through a few paces now and see it can get quite hard to see out there and just bring it in and we'll just land it here just we've got it stabilized okay right that's great all done and dusted and uh, we're happy little campers Thanks for watching, and this is Westy over and out. Cheers.